starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me Hi. down. I'm just coming in to do another dress review. I have blogged about this dress already, um, but I think it does help to see a dress in person sometimes as well. So this is the Wear Lemonade Dieter Wrap Dress. I'll just stand back a bit, I'm not sure how much of it you'll see, um, but you can see that, I'll show you the front. The dress wraps over, uh, it wrap, you, you've got ties that wrap around um, into the skirt and then the skirt wraps so you can see it's wrapping like that there and I will insert some pictures in um, too um, but um, yeah what I really like about this dress is the shape of the sleeves so they're kind of a bat wing type uh, sleeve so again let me just come in and show you um, and I've made this dress from a Liberty of London Tarnalaw, which I think works really well with this dress. I think it does need to be something quite soft and drapey because otherwise I think you'd end up with fabric kind of sticking out around this area um, with the bat wing sleeve. So I think it does need to be something quite lightweight um, and quite drapey. Um, and this Liberty of London, I'd actually had this in my stash um, for about a year but it's like a, a stormy grey background and then it's got these beautiful flowers um, which look like they are painted on. I'll show you the back. So yeah I think it's really uh, a really pretty fabric. Um, the pattern itself, if you're not familiar with Wear Lemonade, um, I have talked about them quite a bit on my channel because I absolutely love them. I love their image, I love their patterns and, and I've never really had any problems with any of the patterns I've made so far um, but I'm a member of their PDF club and I'm not sure that it's that well known that there is a PDF club that you can be a member of so I pay, I think it's about uh, five to six pounds in UK sterling per month but the, the, the way that it then works is you have access to all of their PDF patterns so it's not like how some of the other um, uh, pattern uh, PDF magazine subscription type things work for example seam work I love that as well but the way that that one works is I pay about five pound a month but then I get credits um, so I get like two credits per month which I can put towards collect or seam work patterns the difference with the wear lemonade one is as soon as you start paying that subscription you have access to all of their patterns they do set I think it's a three month minimum membership um, but then that's about £15 for getting access to all the PDFs. They do regularly add new ones, um, so I have maintained my membership because I do want to have access to the new patterns that come along as well. What I'm going to do is um, show you a little bit about this pattern itself. Um, so I'm just going to uh, drop it in on the um, screen. Um, the, the PDF pattern itself so as I can show you what format uh, the Wear Lemonade patterns are in. So they have um, French, because they are a French pattern company, they have French um, and most of the patterns, but not all of them, about 90% of them have English instructions too. Um, and there's photograph step-by-step -step, um, instructions on what to do. Um, and with most of their patterns as well they also had add a video to their youtube channel which shows you the garment actually being made up step by step it's a sped up video um so sometimes it's a little bit tricky to see the finer detail but i've actually noticed on the last couple they've done um, in the parts that are tricky they've really slowed the video down so maybe they had a little bit of feedback about that so I will just um, show you the pattern in detail um, I'm going to do a screen recording so you can see it rather than holding a print out of the pattern to the camera you've got obviously the front cover which they, they, they are all kind of a line drawing of the um, garment itself but there are photographs included in the um, pattern as well which I'll show you in a second um, so 
you can see here, as I said, they're, they're, they're primarily French, but they have added English to most of the patterns as well. Um, so you can see here, you've got it in French under the, the level, but then um, underneath you've got make it with your eyes closed. So it's a, a, a real easy beginner dress. Um, you've got a little bit of information about the pattern so on the left hand side it's in French but on the right hand side you, you've got the same information in English now I think I said you um, I thought you needed um, 2.3 meters of fabric for this dress but I've just noticed it's actually 3.3 uh, meters that you need not 2.3 um, so yeah there's your tips and advice about the fabric etc um, you've then got your cutting layout and then the way that the format works is you've got a, a series of photographs which are numbered so one two three four and they um, number them and then you've got the corresponding instruction so number one here um, there's it in English you've got the instruction that corresponds with photo number one um, and so on and so on so there's number two instruction number three instruction so it is step by step and then there's the next set of photos and the instructions that go with them um, you've then got um, the photographs of the finished garment and then you have that's just kind of standard pattern information. You've got your size guide and then you've got your PDF pattern itself um, that you can um, print, cut and tape. So that's it. I just thought I'd show you what the um, pattern looks like rather than holding it up at the screen because I've tried that a few times and you can't really see very much at all. Okay, so I'll carry on with the video. So, um, in addition to that, um, the dress has got pockets. So, there's inseam pockets. However, they're really small. These are too small for me. So, I don't know if you can see there. Um, that's as far as my hand will go in the pocket. So, it's kind of cutting off there. I like big, deep inseam pockets. Um, which I can um, fit all of my hand in. So next time I was making it, I would just use a pocket from another dress. Um, I did add a little snap fasten. Um, I'm sure if this is gonna focus. Um, I added a little snap fasten there um, just to stop the wrap from gaping open. Um, what else did I do? The, the, the pattern asked for 2.3 metres, I think, worth of fabric. And I only had two metres of um, this fabric and moustache. And normally you find that the pattern asks for quite a bit more fabric than what you actually need. Um, however, with this one, that wasn't the case. So I did find I was a little bit short. So what I had to do is uh, shorten the skirt length by quite a few inches in order to have enough. And it's perhaps, um, I'll put the photos into it so you can see the length because I don't think you're going to see it on the video. Um, it's, it's fine for when I'm wearing tights um, and probably even without tights, but it is perhaps a tad short on what I would normally have um, with this kind of type of skirt. I think if I'm wearing like a shift dress, um, I'm absolutely fine to go mini, full on mini, um, but with this kind of floaty type skirt, um, I do tend to keep them a little bit longer. But, but it's okay. Um, but my favourite thing about this dress is that it's reversible. So you can wear the um, wrap either at the front, like what I've got on now, um, or you can reverse it and wear it at the back. So what I'm going to do now is um, just go and quickly get changed so that I can show you uh, what it looks like at the back. I'm going to try. I've seen other people do this and don't know whether my editing skills are um, good enough, but I'm going to try and do a, do a twirl and then when I twirl back, it'll be the other way around. So let's give it a go. So uh, this is what it looks like reversed. Um, so 
you can see it's quite a high neck uh, when you've got it reversed but it doesn't feel um, awkward or like it's the uh, uh, it doesn't feel like I've got it on back to front whereas I've tried some kind of reversible type dresses before and they just don't feel comfy they don't feel right under the arms but I think with the shape of these sleeves it works really well and so I'll just show you what that looks like at the back um, so I think it just gives it some uh, real good detail and makes it really different and for me if you've read my blog post um, you will have read that um, wrap dresses I absolutely love seeing them on other people um, but I don't I don't feel so confident in them myself because I've got quite a boyish shape and I think um, having kind of a wrap at the front emphasizes that um, whereas with this one um, I thought I'll go ahead and make the dress anyway because if it doesn't suit me if it doesn't work out right with the wrap at the front I can just reverse it and wear it at the back um, but to be fair, I, I perhaps will wear it with the uh, reverse at the front as, as, as well as at the back. Um, so yeah, that's what makes this dress really cool and really special for me is that it's reversible. Um, what I am going to do uh, now is just go back into the screen um, recording and I'm going to log into my Wear Lemonade PDF Club account and I'm just going to show you what patterns are available at the moment just to give you an idea and, and have a think about whether um, you would look at joining yourself. Um, and by the way, Wear Lemonade are not sponsoring this post in any way at all. I'm just sharing it because I really, really love their patterns. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, go and do a screen recording and show you just how many patterns are there at the moment and I hope you find that useful. Um, the website is in French because they are a French um, pattern company. Um, so I did find it a little bit tricky to find out exactly how the subscription works etc. But I found if I used one of the um, browsers, I think it may have been Google Chrome, uh, I can't remember now, it, it may have been Google Chrome um, or one, one of the um, uh, browsers um, allows you to use a translation service so I could translate the website into English um, so I could read all the ins and outs on exactly how it works uh, but I don't have that browser on my um, Mac that was on a different computer so I won't be able to show it you in English. Um, so um, yeah that, that's it that's all I wanted to kind of tell you about the dress itself oh I nearly forgot actually this was the dress that I made for the smiley challenge and um, so you will have seen it sitting on a mannequin um, in the background but I didn't talk very much about the dress because smiley was more about um, what sewing has, has done for me um, in relation to body, positi body positivity and stuff like that. But the reason why I chose this dress um, was because it was different to the style that I normally wear. So because it's, it's, it's wrap and it's something that um, I, don't, I, I don't normally feel overly confident in. Um, but I will definitely be making more of these. I will wear the wrap at the front and the back. Um, and um, I love it, yeah, really, really love how it's turned out. Any questions at all, um, do just ask them um, below. Um, and I hope that my video hasn't made you feel a little bit wheezy this time. My last two videos, I found that I got um, a bit of trouble with my camera and it kept on resuming itself and jumping in and out. Um, it turns out there was a button that had been pressed on the camera, um, which means it's constantly trying to track a face and focus on the face. So unless I kind of stood absolutely still like this all the way through the video, it was going to zoom in and out. So I do apologise for that. Um, but hopefully um, I've worked out how to fix that now. And this one um, shouldn't make you feel sick in any way at all. So thank you for watching. I will now just um, drop into the screen print mode, not screen print, screen recording mode and show you around the PDF club. Okay, so I am just gonna give you a quick tour of the Wear Lemonade um, PDF Pattern Club or what they call the Pattern Corner. I'll just maximize the screen. Um, so I am logged into my account here. Um, and as, as I said, um, do check the terms in case they've changed since I joined. Um, but certainly when I joined, um, once you um, make your first monthly payment, you can access and download as many of these patterns as you want. 
um, I think there is a minimum three month um, subscription. So you've got um, two sections, you've got my patterns and um, my twists. So I'll show you the patterns first of all, there's loads and loads and loads, there's loads of these that I haven't made yet. Um, but you've got dresses, you've got uh, anoraks, you've got blouses, uh, biker coats, skirts, um, dungaree shorts, um, jumpsuits, bomber jackets, what else have we got? Um, the Falbella top I've made a few times, that's a really sweet top. Um, you've got these, which I think these are kind of a jumpsuit version of the Dita dress. It looks like the top may be quite similar to the Dita dress, but then it's got trousers, so I'm certainly going to have a look at that. Um, you've got some nice trousers. The Simona blouse I've made several times, and that's lovely. These are um, one of the items which are going to be on my make list uh, very soon. I think I might have put them on my make nine actually, I can't remember. Um, but these are the Fiona um, dungarees which I'm going to make. Some more dresses. Um, this again, um, I think this is this is called Claudia. I think this is like a play suit version of the Dita dress. So again the top looks very similar to the Dita but it's got shorts rather than a skirt. You've got um, a lovely jacket, it's like an oversized um, boyish fit blazer type jacket. Um, I've seen Wear Lemonade have made one up in like a lightweight denim and that looks really good. Uh, more trousers, blouses and another dress. So I'll just show you what my twists is all about. Um, so my twists are just kind of some... Um, um, little add-on patterns so you've got some pajamas some pajama bottoms and a pajama top um, you've got a cute kind of scalloped edge wrap skirt um, not sure what this is whether it's the trousers or the um, blouse um, this is a add-on to the Frida dress I've made a couple of the Frida dresses but with this add-on you can turn it into a um, button-up front with a collar rather than the standard neck bodice um, this is some kind of wrap top and this must be new I've not seen this before actually this looks like it's a twist on the Simona blouse a dress version of the Simona blouse so that is it that's a quick tour around the um, wear lemonade pattern corner um, th there's loads here you actually you wouldn't need to buy any more patterns if you were um, if, if you did join because there's loads and loads of choice of course if they're your type of style the only thing that I have found is um, I don't think I've come across any of the patterns yet which are made for stretch fabrics they all tend to be geared towards uh, woven so it depends on whether uh, working with woven is your type of thing Okay, so um, that is it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Now my feet don't even reach the ground. Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends. All my dreams are coming.